On today's Maker Mashup, we're upgrading the X301 with a metal carriage plate. Okay, so today's gonna be a pretty quick video. What I've got here is a metal carriage plate that Nick and I have been kind of working on uh, as an upgrade for the X301. A lot of people had mentioned that with the X301, this carriage plate here was plastic. You could 3D print it. I've used it at 100% infill. I've had no problems with it, but some other people had mentioned that it would be really nice if there was a metal plate. So here we go, we've got one. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to install it on the X301 printer if you've already got your X301 printer set up and built. And it doesn't really require you to disconnect the cables or anything else. It's a really quick fix and we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I've got another announcement at the end of the video that I think everybody that has been a fan of this printer will be very interested in. So with all that said, let's get to work. So the first step here, if you're gonna be replacing this on the X301, is to go ahead and remove the dual drive extruder off the front, and that will take the nozzle off as well. Once we have everything unscrewed, you can see, I'm just gonna move this right out of the way. So now we're gonna remove the rest of the screws from the build plate. Now you can see here that the top holes are just slightly smaller. Now, when you put your M3 screw through these, the M3 screw will self-thread these top two holes. This gives you extra support for the cable mount at the top of the carriage. Once you've threaded the two top screws, now we're just gonna go ahead and put the plate back on the 3D printer the same way we removed it. Now that we have the new carriage plate installed, it's just a matter of reattaching the dual drive extruder and the nozzle to the front. Okay, so you can see here, really the toughest part of this is doing the self-threading screw at the top. An M3 really just screws right into it. It's a little tight, but otherwise it screws right in perfectly and it really adds some great support. So if you're interested in making one of these yourself, I'm gonna include uh, a link to the repository where you can pull down the DXF file for this. And this is just something that is a CAD file and you can take that CAD file and you can have it laser cut. Or alternatively, you can go to layerfuse.com and we're pleased to announce that Layerfuse finally has a website up and running. And we have a shop where you can purchase these online. So you can just get one of these shipped to you and we're shipping internationally as well. So if you wanna save some money, you can probably just get it from us. It might cost you a lot more because printing just one of these or having just one of these laser cut is kind of expensive. And with that, the other thing that was really a, a great takeaway, and Tom, thank you for putting the comment in the uh, comments of the NeoPixel video, is that we finally have NeoPixel kits available. We created a circuit board for this, so there's no fancy soldering, and you're able to just go ahead and uh, solder it together. It comes as a kit, and you put it together, and it's the same as if you did it with a project board. So if you don't want all the expense of buying a roll of NeoPixels and the project boards and everything else, you can just buy one of these. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive, and you're able to go ahead and solder those together and we'll ship them right out to you. So I wanted to announce the Layer Fuse store because it is something brand new. We're trying to make a lot of the 3D printed parts available for the X301 and a lot of the other parts. So if you're interested, please feel free and check out the website. Uh, they're not sponsoring this video, but Nick and I are the same people running Layer Fuse, so it, we're really the same team and uh, it's all Makers Mashup. And now we've got the Layer Fuse website, so you can go ahead and get your parts there as well. So I wanted to announce that and uh, I'm excited and very humbled by all the number of people putting this printer together. It's very exciting and uh, just love all the interaction that we see in our channel Discord. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Gonna be putting out a lot of new videos here that are gonna be uh, little quick tips for doing the X301 and some other general 3D printer tips. So uh, now that we've got Layer Fuse kind of behind us uh, and we've got that uh, website up, 
I can get back to focusing on a lot of Maker's Mashup videos. And I want to put together some quick tips because there's a lot of them that we've learned uh, from the people that are putting together the Layer Fuse printer. So glad to share that with everyone. So until then, we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. Yeah.